Hey there, YouTubers. This is your zip code, F -f 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 Farik. Matt Shiny in the 92887 here on this Thursday, July 25th. This is installment number five in the election collection. Georgia. Fourth calling to ratify the Constitution on January 2nd, 1788, only a couple of weeks after New Jersey did. And uh, Georgia is southern state. It looks kind of like, on the map, kind of like a torso without limbs or a head. And that's no reference to the voters here. Just thought I'd let you know. Uh, as far as zip codes go, this being the Zip Code Freak program, we got to mention that. Anything in Georgia will be starting from 300 to 319 for the first three digits. Uh, through 319, actually, for the first three digits of any zip code in this state. There's one exception, I think, but it's a special case as a border state with another state, and it goes with that state's system. But pretty much 99.9%, 300XX through 319XX. Georgia uh, is the eighth most populous state out of 50, uh, has around 11 million people as of the last estimate, uh, has 16 electors, uh, out of the 538 that we have in the Electoral College, it is a true swing state. Uh, in the 16 elections from 1960 on, five of them went to the Democrats, one went for a third party in 1968 because of George Wallace, and then the others were, uh, the other 10 were Republican. Uh, they went Republican. Uh, and it's a swing state because not only the uh, of the large population, but also there are... A third of the population is black, and they tend to vote Democrat. Not all of them, but they generally tend to. And that can really uh, make for an interesting politics. In fact, <clears throat> in, the in the 2016 election, Trump won by about a couple hundred thousand votes, or 5% of the voting population. Uh, in 2020, he lost by 11,779 votes. And that's out of almost 5 million voters, that is a very small margin. The ratio is like 1.0048 to 1. Uh, in other words, 0.024% of the voters' uh, um, difference, so to speak. The 11,779 11, out of nearly 5 million voters. Uh, as I said, a true swing state, though, like Pennsylvania. Uh, ironically... For this day, our most famous politician to to note to date on uh, for Georgia is Jimmy Carter, who was a Democrat. He was a president of the United States from 1977 to 1981, 39th president. Uh, and this was in an era when that was beginning to change. He was kind of the probably the last of the old school Dixiecrats, if you will, uh, when the South used to be known as the Solid South, and they were. Most they're Democrats anyway, but most of them were conservative socially. It's not the uh, Democrats of today. Uh, anyway, so there you have it. Something to think about, though. Also, Georgia generally there are 159 counties in the state, and 127 of them went for Trump in 2020. 32 of them went for Biden, but those 32 were the were among the largest counties in the state for population, Atlanta and its suburbs and Macon and Augusta and the, you know, the larger population centers went for, uh, by and large, went for Biden. And that's true of any state. Generally, even however red the state is, the city is going to be generally blue, purple, if not blue. So anyway, if you like, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, for those in Bankhead and Five Points in Atlanta, for those in Millersville and Valdosta, for those in Macon and for those in Waycross near the Okinofinoki Swamp, sorry for mispronouncing it, have a good day. Love you. Special shout out. See you in the next video.